Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to review the Ishin TX05 all-in-one camera. This is the latest all-in-one camera from Ishin. I've reviewed the TX04 and of course the TX03 and now it's the turn of the TX05 to be reviewed. Inside the box, we're getting the camera. You can see that it's covered with some foam which will protect the camera. Of course, it can be easily removed so you don't have to use it. And we also get in the instruction manual. This camera is featuring six modes. You have first of all a pit mode, then 5 milliwatt, 25, 50, 100, and also a 250 milliwatt mode. So it's more powerful than the TX03, which has only 200 milliwatt. This is the highest output mode. And of course, more than the TX04, which had only a 25 milliwatt option. In addition, the TX04 uses this slide indicator in, in order to set the band and the channel. And fortunately, this one have this LED display on the back. So setting it up will be much easier than the TX04. Both the TX03 and the TX05 support 72 channels. The TX05 has this brass antenna, unlike the TX03, which has this clover leaf antenna. And in my opinion, this antenna is a better choice because it's going to be durable on a micro quadcopter than the clover leaf antenna of the TX03, which can be bent quite easily. The TX05 is OSD friendly, which means if you want to connect it to an all-in-one board, like the Ishin Mini Cube, all you have to do is just plug it into the correct port and you're pretty much good to go. So the voltage in and ground and the video in and video out are directly fed from this board. However, if you would like to use it independently, like the TXO3, which you just have to connect it to a power output and you're done, you will have, first of all, to solder it or to make your own connector and you will have to short the video in and video out together otherwise you're not going to get any picture while using this camera. The weight of the TX05 without its case is 4.44 grams and with the case we're looking at about 5 grams. The TX03 weighs 5.36 grams and the weight of the TX04 is about 4 grams. It has the same dimensions of the TX03. You can see that you can't tell the difference between those two on the front, except of course for the antenna. So you're looking at the same dimensions, which are 19.5 by 14 by 6.7 millimeters. In order to test it out, simply I've just connected the video in and video out together. So I soldered it together and also used this connector in order to power it off directly from a 1S battery. And you can see now it's working. Setting the band, channel and the output is done using this button on the top. If you press it for two seconds, now you can select the band. So you have nine options. Just refer to this channel frequency table and then you can set your favorite band and channel. Just match the letter and the number of the channel and then you can set your favorite band. I'm going to set it on 5860, which means I'm going to set it up on band F and channel 7. So let's put it on band F and channel 7. You know, to set the power output, you have to long press this button for about four seconds, and then you can choose one, two, three, four, five, and six. One is the pit mode, then two is five milliwatt, 25, 50, 100, and six option is the strongest, 250 milliwatts. So in my test, I'm going to set it up on the highest output. So we're going to set it up on six. Once you're done setting all the options, you can see it says F, seven, and when it flickers twice, it stands for the power output. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take it outdoors and compare the TXO5 with the TXO3 side by side. 